Hello, my name is Samuel Bates, and this is XB3001 Bulwark Assault, and this is my second week of development. The first thing of note is you might remember that last week I could move the cursor using the right stick. Well, this week the gun follows it. Now, I'm not the most proficient with blueprinting, so this is quite a janky method because basically it splits up uh, the entire screen into a grid and if it's in one of these coordinates then it will rotate the gun by a certain amount. It isn't as smooth as I would like, however, because this is a three week project I have to sacrifice some things um, and if I had more time to work on it I would love to iron it out. The next thing I want to showcase is, you might remember last week, you can shoot. This week, when you shoot, is now an automatic weapon. So, it now fires, and you might also notice, if you look at the gun, when you shoot, when you hold down, it jitters around. That was something I was working on. It's, it's very similar to my recoil I showcased last week, but just to add a bit more variety, and make, make it feel like your gun has a lot more punch. The more keen-eyed of you might have noticed that as I shoot my weapon, it becomes more red. So it starts off as a white and slowly it turns into more of a pinkish hue and then closer and closer to red. This is the overheat and when it fully reaches a bright, vibrant red like it is now, it will eventually turn black and it will indicate that you have overheated and you cannot fire your weapon when you overheat. You can also click R when you fire your weapon because as you can see it's turning uh, pink. Click R and it, what it does is it reloads quickly. There is also a natural cooldown to your weapon and if you see as I'm shooting it will slowly return back down to white. Another thing of note is that there isn't going to be an interact in this game. To interact, you're going to actually shoot. So this is a door, this white blockade. And this flashing button, if I shoot it, the door opens. Huzzah! And I can now pass through. Uh, you can't shoot the door again. You might also have realised, as I'm moving forward and backwards, this new blue bar is increasing and decreasing. Well, this actually is your damage. Your standard damage is 1. The more you move forward, it increases to a maximum of 5. But if you move back, it decreases to a minimum of 0.1. Now, I didn't want it to be 0, because I wanted it, in case you were uh, running back, to at least do still a little bit of damage. But it's really to de desensitize you from moving back. Uh, because in many games, when an enemy charges towards you, your natural instinct is to stand still or move back. But when you stand still, as you can tell, if I'm going to move forward and then I stop, it decreases to that that value of one. And when I move back and stop, it increases to that value of one. So when you stand still, it wants to reduce to one. When you move back, it goes back to 0.1. And so it constantly encourages you to charge forth and get that 5 damage. Now, there's a second bar. Now this is actually health, it's currently at 0, and this is to showcase this other thing I've been working on. Similarly to the button, this is when you shoot this, it turns more, and you can see you get more health. So the more you shoot this little block, this is a healing block, the more health you do, or you get. So when I fully kill it, so it gives you a full health bars worth health. And so there won't be any natural health regeneration in this game. It will only be these spinning health stations. Okay, so this is another thing I've been working on, is AI. And AI actually has a random roam, so it will just walk around on its own. But what AI also can do, what AI can also do, is when it sees me, it walks towards me. And this is sort of where the damage, so you see I'm moving back and I don't do much damage. But then moving forward and I do more damage against him. The AI don't kill me currently, however that is something I do have to work on. Now let's go over the blueprints. I won't go over every blueprint, so I added just over the general stuff, 
So the first thing is shooting. I went over this a little bit uh, last time. However, it's developed quite a lot. Um, and so first I need to check is it overheating or if it's reloading. Uh, and then also when I do the start shooting, uh, it goes over here and then it wants to fire the gun. And it will, and this is how it constantly fires the gun. Firing the gun is quite simple, uh, just a line trace. And then also, if it hits the AI, it does damage to the AI. If it hits the health station, you get health. And if it does, uh, hits the button, activates the door. The next thing is movement effects damage. This is very simple. So when you go over to movement, I basically set if is it moving forward, and if it is, well. It, it, this forward value will be positive if it's negative if it's moving backwards and so I basically just checked whether wherever it is is greater than zero and it does more damage or less than zero does less damage and then if it's stationary so equal to zero then it does uh, it decreases or increases to one the penultimate thing is cooldown I wanted to include a super cooldown but I was having a lot of trouble with that uh, but I've just decided to scrap it as I only do only have three weeks Now we're moving on to how the function actually works So up here you have the auto cooldown uh, Which I'll touch on a little bit later We actually have a cooldown uh, system so when you click R It will cool your gun down and basically it checks if you uh, Have overheated so if your overheat Current overheat is greater than the maximum overheat, and then if it is, then you're overheating. Or if you are not overheated yet, and if you're not overheated yet, then then it's okay. You're just gonna cool down sort of naturally, or, or via the reload sort of function. And then after it reaches less than or equal to zero it then cancels this cooldown function sets it all back to the overheat minimum which is zero and it's dandy so this is how the overheat works so each time you shoot your gun it, it activates this overheat thing and then uh, if and it checks if it's greater than the maximum if it's great ever greater than the maximum you're overheated if you if it's not then it's just going to constantly increase this overheat current now we're moving on to like the natural cooldown and so this is always ticking in the event game play there's a there's a timer by event but if you and it only works if you're not shooting and then it has a slightly slower cooldown than the regular reload itself the final thing i wanted to highlight was gun rotation and so in this big long list over here I actually have uh, a gun rotation section which is over here and basically uh, that uh, starts a timer by event which constantly ticks over and so I'm just gonna go over the vertical basically it gets the screen size what uh, y and then it if it's between a certain range and it's true then it sets the screen rotation uh, and then basically it's the same for that uh, for left and right hand horizontal anyway thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you here soon bye